Fiddle, fiddle. Fiddle, fiddle. Hi, guys. My name's Ariana, and today I am watching Silence of the Lamps. If you like what you see, to see my whole full reaction, check us out on Patreon and like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm assuming this is her training to, like, work for the FBI. Being the FBI would be so cool. Yeah, FBI Academy. Tight. It's kind of dope that there's, like, an obstacle course in the middle of the woods. Because trail running is my fave. I love me a good, strong female lead. Hurt, agony, pain. Love it. Oh! Pride. I guess I had the hurt and agony not really pick on my list of things that I love. Ooh, behavioral science services. I'm about that life. You looking for Crawford? Yes, sir. Well, he should be back in a couple minutes. Why don't you wait in his office? Okay. She looks scared. Ooh, Bill Skin's fifth. What? Oh, that is vivid. Ooh. Starlight. Clarissa. Good morning. Weird way to say her whole name, but okay. Your instructors tell me you're doing well. Top quarter of your class. I hope so. They haven't posted Ooh, any Southern Axe, so. too. Let's see, major graduated magna, summer internships That's actually really B.A. It says here, when you graduate, you want to come to work for me in behavioral science. Yes, very much, sir. Very much. God, that would be... The, that's the dream. You spook easily, Starling? Not yet, sir. See, the one we want most refuses to cooperate. I want you to go after him again today in the asylum. Yeah, who's the subject? The psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal, mm. Hannibal. So if he won't cooperate, I want just straight reporting. How's he look? How's his cell look? Is he sketching, drawing? If he is, what's he sketching? Excuse me, sir, but why the urgency? Mm. Lecter's been in prison for several right. years now. Believe me, you don't want Hannibal Lecter in. Oh, that would be wild. Never <sighs> forget what he is. And what is that? Oh, he's a monster. Mm. From a research point of view, Lecter is our most prized asset. Don't love that. That wording. You know, we get a lot of detectives here, but I must say I can't ever remember also, the most attractive. Also, ew. Will you be in Boston? Not to hang out with you, sir. Because this can be quite a fun time. Ew. I don't even like his tone in that. On the afternoon of July 8, 1981, he complained of chest pains and was taken to the dispensary. His mouthpiece and restraints were removed for an EKG. When the nurse leaned over him, he did this to her. His pulse never got above 85, even when he ate her tongue. I oh, my. In here. If Lecker feels that you're his animal, then, um, well, maybe we'll have more luck if I can. Smart lady. You might have suggested this in my office. It's safe. Oh, wow. Hi, I'm Barty. And he told you, don't get near the glass. Yes, you did, Clarice Starling. Nice to meet you, Clarice. Ooh, yeah, girl. Oh, I was not paying attention to see if this is, like, just for, like, the criminally insane. Oh, God. Or just a jail. You're one of Jack Crawford's, aren't you? I am, yes. Mm. May I see your credentials? Certainly. Yes. Closer. Mm -hmm, girl. Oh my god, his face is haunting. That expires in one week. Jack Crawford sent a trainee to me. Yes, I'm a student. I'm here to learn from you. Maybe you can decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified enough to do that. Mm hmm. It's rather slippery of you, Agent Starling. <laughs> What did Mix say to you? He hissed at you. What did he say? <laughs> he said, I can smell your cunt. I myself cannot. <laughs> oh. Oh, goodness. You use up your skin cream. And sometimes you wear a lead at all. Oh, weird. Did you do all these wrongs, Doctor? That is the Duomo scene from the Belvedere. Jack Crawford must be very busy indeed if he is recruiting help from the student body. 
busy hunting that new one, Buffalo Bill. Do you know why he's called Buffalo Bill? Why do you think he removes their skins, Agent Starling? It excites him. Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims. I didn't. No, he mm. laid yours. Do you know what you look like to me with your good bag and your cheap shoes? You look like a rube. A well-scrubbed, hustling rube with a little taste. And that accent you've tried so desperately to shed. Pure West Virginia. He's making a profile. All those tedious, sticky fumblings in the back seats of cars while you could only dream of getting out, getting anywhere, getting all the way to the end of the Well, she's supposed to be getting a profile. He's making his own profile. He's good. Mm. I guess he was a psychologist. Powered perception at yourself. A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans and a nice Chianti. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh, is he? Yep. My wrist. So I can die. Oh! Unspeakably ugly to me. Then do this test for me. No, but I will make you happy. Go seek out Miss Moffat, an old patient of mine. M O F E T. Go now. Go now. Oh, that took a different turn than anticipated. Also, oh my God. Oh my God. Wow. Wow. Oh, you poor thing. That is traumatizing. Oh. Gross. Oh. Dad was a sheriff. Oh, that's hard. Mm. Starling? Sir? Migs is dead. Dad? The orderly heard Lecter whispering to him all afternoon and Migs crying. They found him at bed check. He'd swallowed his own tongue. <gasps> Starling? How do you even do that? I'm still here, sir. But um, I thought the yourself reference was uh, too hokey for Lecter. And I looked in the phone book and there's a yourself storage facility right outside of downtown Baltimore, sir. When it's 35 first leased for 10 years. It's a contract. This is the name of a Miss Hester Moffat. So nobody's been in here since 1980? Not to my knowledge. <laughs> Stuck. Oh, Jack, smart lady, man. Oof. I would not want to do that, especially when you don't know what you're looking for. Ow! Oh, God. Mm. It's a car? What? Holy shit. Dressed up mannequin. Face it. Mm. Oh, no. Aww. Oh. Uh, that's a head in a jar. It's an anagram, isn't it, Doctor? Hester Moffat, the rest of me. Miss the rest of me, meaning that you rented that garage? Oh, I don't like this. Also, girl, you are sitting very close to the glass. And you're not supposed to take anything from him. No! Bleeding is off. Uh... It's just a scratch. Why don't you ask me about... Buffalo Bill. Well, do you know something about him? I might if I saw the case file. Why don't we talk about Miss Moffat? You wanted me to find him. His real name is Benjamin Raspell. Mm. A former patient of mine whose romantic attachments ran to, shall we say, the exotic. I did not kill him, I assure you. If you didn't mm -hmm. kill him, then who did, sir? The best thing for him, really. His therapy was going nowhere. His dress, uh, makeup. Raspell was a transvestite? Oh, no. Garden variety manic depressive. No, no, just think of him as a kind of experiment. A fledgling killer's first effort at transformation. 
What happened to your drawings? Punishment, you see, for Migs. Just mm. like that gospel program. What did you mean by transformation, Doctor? I feel like that can't be ethical. What I want is a view. I want a window where I can see a tree or even water. What do you mean by fledgling killer? Are you saying that he's killed again? I'm offering you a psychological profile in Buffalo Bill based mm. on the case evidence. Oh, this is weird. This is just not what I expected. Let me reframe. It's not weird. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I do love Tom Petty. Night vision goggles? Ooh. Do not offer help. No. Can I help you with that? Oh no. 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 And now you trap, bitch. Oh. Oof. Oh no. Saw it coming a mile away. Never help the man. With a fake injury. Good old Ted Bundy style. Mm -mm. He's been stalking her for a minute, too. Yeah, no. You don't offer your help to strangers like that place at night. Obviously. No. Keep it pushing. Charlie! Outside. Let's go. Saddle up, pack your fill gear. You're moving out, you're going with Brooke. Where? Found a girl's body down in West Virginia. Mm. Been in a water about a week. Looks like a Buffalo Bill type situation. Mm. This has to be wild for somebody so new, too. Right for three days. We don't know why. Okay, three days. Then he shoots them, skins them, and dumps them. Each body in a different river. The water leaves us no trace evidence of any kind. That's pretty mm. I literally have goosebumps. This intrigues me so much. Oh, he's a white male. Uh, serial killers tend to hunt within their own ethnic groups. Or he's got his own house somewhere, not an apartment. He's in his 30s or 40s. He's cautious, precise, and he's never impulsive. He'll never stop. You haven't mentioned anything about the information contained in my report or Dr. Lecter's offer. Considering it. Mm. That's why you sent me in there, isn't it? To get his help on Buffalo Bill, sir? If I'd mm -hmm. sent you in there with an actual agenda, Lecter would have known it instantly. He would have toyed with you, then turned to stone. I wonder if she feels like a pawn. I feel like they're all kind of using her a little bit throughout this. Sure. This type of sex crime has certain aspects I just as soon discussed in private. Well, that's some BS. I don't love the leering. See, this is what I mean. I don't like that. I don't like that she's being used as a tool. Or the fact that it feels like she's being used as a tool. I don't. Helpful in her own way. Utilized for any for something other than just being a good-looking woman. I guess. I don't know. Oh, this is another flashback. She's in West Virginia. Oh, man. There's things we need to do for her. I know that y'all brought her this far and that her folks would thank you if they could for your for your kindness and your sensitivity. Go on now. Leave. Thank you. Thank you. Dr. Lamar, let's take a look at her. Oh. It's okay, Starling. Star-shaped contact entrance wound over the uh, sternum. A muscle stamp at the top. 
Wrongful death. Wrongful death. Two of her fingernails are broken off, and there's... There's dirt or grit. I don't know. It looks like she's tried to claw her way through something. She's got something in her throat. Uh. I thought a leech. No. What is that? Some kind of seed pot? No, sir. That's a bug cocoon. But there's no way that could get way down in there like that. Uh. Somebody shoved it in there. She'll be easier to print when we turn her over. Ooh. Lamar, will you give me a hand with it? Yes, sir, I will. Oh, my. Oh, Jack. The victim's skin removed, this time in two large diamond-shaped sections above the buttocks. Still eight exit wound level. With when I, I told that sheriff we shouldn't talk in front of a woman, it really burned you, didn't it? It was just smokes, darling. I had to get rid of him. Matters, Mr. Crawford. Cops look at you to see how to act. Matters. Taken. Mm -hmm. Thank you for acknowledging that, sir. Time culture, my move. No fair, you lured him with produce. Tough nuggies. Still my turn. If the beetle moves one of your men, does that still count? Of course it counts. How do you play? Agent Starling? Buffalo Bill, isn't it? I'm afraid I can't tell you any more about that. We heard about it on the radio. You mean this is like a clue from a real murder case? Cool. Ignore him. He's not a PhD. <laughs> How do you play that? Oh, ooh, gooey. Ever go out for cheeseburgers and beer? <laughs> the amusing house wine? Are you hitting on me, Doc? Yes. <laughs> gotcha. What do you got, Rodin? Agent Starling, meet Mr. Acherontius Styx. Better known to his friends as the Death's Head Moth. Yeah, where does it come from? God, that's what's strange. It only lived in Asia. Asia? Oh! Somebody grew this Yo, that's such a big hint. Somebody loved him. Oh, that's wild. Oh, I love the little missing pieces. Oh my goodness. I'm a little bit absurd, but here we are. Oh, I don't, I, we didn't want to be, I don't like moths, though. They are not just ugly butterflies. They come across you. Oh my gosh, is this a look into Buffalo Bill's, like, lair? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is wild. I love this. Catherine Martin, the 25-year-old daughter of Senator Ruth Martin, listed first as a missing person, is now believed to have been kidnapped by the serial killer known only as Buffalo Bill. Catherine is very gentle and kind. Talk to her and you'll see. Oh my gosh. Oh, because at this point they know that they he keeps them for three days and then Ooh, this is huge. chance to show the whole world my daughter is Catherine. Boy, that's smart. Release her unharmed. She keeps repeating the name. And I promise she sees Catherine as a person and not just an object. Mm-hmm. It's harder to tear her up. Please. Mm-hmm. Release my little girl. This is the number for the U.S. Attorney's office. Please, either you discuss this with him or you let me do my job. You understand? Go off, girl. Thank you. Thank you. You suck. In time, Prideful prick. Catherine Martin, the senator promises you a transfer to the VA hospital at Oneida Park, New York, with a view of the woods nearby. One week of the year... You get to leave the hospital and go here. Plum Island. Non negotiable and final. Catherine Martin dies, you get nothing. That's almost unfair. That feels a little almost unfair, though. Quit pro quo. I tell you, mm. you tell me things. No. Mistake, yourself. No, when don't do that, know. girlfriend. Yes or no? Hard pass. Hard pass it, lady. Yes, and now, Clarice. Go left. What is your worst memory of childhood? Mm. Death of my father. He was a town marshal, and one night he surprised two burglars coming out of the back of a drugstore. Mm. They shot him. Was he killed outright? 
No, he was very strong. He lasted more than a month. Quid pro quo, Doc. So tell me about Miss West Virginia. Was she a large girl? Yes. Mm-hmm. She had an object deliberately inserted into her throat. The butterfly. Yes. A moth. Just like the one we found in Benjamin Raspail's head an hour ago. Mm-hmm. Why does he place them there, Doctor? Transformation. He gave you the clues. The moth is changed. <laughs> From Venice into beauty. Ellie wants to change too. Yes, he does. There's no correlation in the literature Ooh. between transsexualism and violence. Transsexuals are very passive. Mm. Close to the way you're gonna catch him. Do you realize that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, tell me why. After your father's murder, you were orphaned. What happened next? Mm, don't play this game, sir. I went to live with my mother's cousin and her husband in Montana. They had a ranch. How long did you live there? Two months. Why so mm -hmm. Because he I was... Mm-hmm. Bye, Clarice. Billy is not a real transsexual, but he thinks he is. He tries oh? to be. He's tried to be a lot of things, I expect. Look for severe childhood disturbances mm. associated with violence. Billy hates his own identity, you see, and he thinks that makes him a transsexual. But his pathology is a thousand times more savage and more terrifying. Mr. My family will pay cash. Whatever ransom you're asking for, they'll pay it. <laughs> It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. <laughs> now it places the lotion in the basket. I want to see my mommy. Please, no. Oh, my. Put the fucking lotion in the basket. Oh, my. Oh, my. <gasps> That's how her nails got ripped off. Oh, my God. Oh, fudge. Mm. Oh, I don't fucking like you, dude. I don't think so. I called Senator Ruth Martin. She never heard of any deal with you. They scammed you, Hannibal. You, I want to fucking... You are screwed, man. Deal with Senator Martin, but there is now. Of course, I worked in a few conditions for my own benefit as well. I, I fucking hate him. By name. You answer me now, or by God, you'll never leave this cell. I really hate that man. Who is Buffalo Bill? His first name is Louis. I get him ready to go. Fucking prick. He just comes. Ugh. Yeah. How am I rooting for Hannibal Lecter over this fucking doctor? Oh man. That's so fucked. Then again, using her as a pawn. I guess tool earlier wouldn't have been the proper word. I didn't like how they were using her as a pawn to get what they want. He looks like a broke pimp. He's gonna fuck you up. He gonna get that damn pen. He has that pen. Senator Martin. Dr. Hannibal Lecter. Buffalo Bell's real name is Louis Fenn. I met him just once. He was referred to me in April or May 1980 by my patient Benjamin Raspell. But Raspell had become very frightened. Mm. Apparently, Louis had murdered a transient and done things with the skin we need his address and a physical description mm -hmm. five ten strongly built about 180 pounds hair blonde eyes pale blue he'd be about 35 now he said he lived in philadelphia but may have lied how do you so, think sir well it's only through my own unique insight into lecter's mind that this breakthrough was possible my, my name is dr frederick no one gives a fuck about your name dude sorry for that outburst <laughs> i hate to mm. <clears throat> fucking narcissist. Fucking narcissist. I can not. <laughs> uh, lost my cool there for a second. It made me very angry. Mm, interesting cage they've got going on here. Good evening, Clarice. 
Mm. I thought you might like your drawings back, Doctor. Your anagrams are showing, Doctor. Lewis Friend, Iron Sulfide, also known as, as Fool's Gold. Oh, Clarice, your problem is you need to get more fun out of life. I've read the case files, have you? Everything you need to find him is right there in those pages. Mm. Tell me how. Read Marcus Aurelius of each particular thing. Ask what is it in itself? What is there it we go. This man you seek. He kills women. No, that is incidental. He skins women. What needs does he serve by killing? Anger. Social acceptance. Sexual frustration. No, he covets. Mm hmm. That is his nature. How do we begin to covet, Clarice? Now, we begin by coveting what we see every day. Mm -hmm. Don't you feel eyes moving over your body, Clarice? And don't your eyes seek out the things you want? All right, yes. Now, please tell me how. No. This is your turn to tell me, Clarice. You don't have any more vacations to sell. Why did you leave that land? You went to live with cousins on a sheep and horse ranch in Montana. Understand? And one morning I just ran away. You started at what time? Early. It's still dark. Then something woke you, didn't it? Was it a dream? What was it? I heard a strange noise. What was it? It was screaming. Some kind of screaming, like a child's voice. What did you do? I went downstairs. Outside, I crept up into the barn. I was so scared to look inside, but I had to. What did you see, Clarice? What did you see? What did you see? Lambs. They were screaming. They were oh. slaughtering the spring lambs. Oh my. They were screaming. Oh, that's really sad. No, first I tried to free them. I, I opened the gate to their pen, but they wouldn't run. But you could, and you did, didn't you? Yes. I took one lamb and I ran away as fast as I could. I thought if I could save just one, but he was so heavy. So mm. That's like super sad. And the sheriff mm. picked me up. What became of your lamb, Glory? I killed him. You still wake up sometimes, don't you? you wake up in the dark and hear the screaming of the lamb. Mm. Yes. And you think wow. if you save poor Catherine, you could make them stop, don't you? You think if Catherine lives, you won't wake up in the dark ever again. To that awful screaming of the lamb. I don't know. I don't know. Thank mm. you, Thank you. Because now he's got a whole ass profile, though. So I don't know where this is going. Dr. Chilton, I presume. I think you know each other. Fuck that dude. Brave Clarice. You will let me know when those lambs stop screaming, won't you? Me his name, Doctor. Clarice. Your case file. Goodbye, Clarice. He didn't tell you shit, douchebag. I mean, still definitely think Hector's a killer and all that stuff and a gross man, but it's about the other guy that's just as skeevy. Hmm. This is where he goes and fucks this motherfucker up. It has to be. Yup. I don't know. Where are these two? Ready when you are, Doc. Just another minute, please. Son of a bitch demanded a second dinner. <sighs> Good evening, gentlemen. When you are Sergeant Pembry. He's got to pick the locks on those handcuffs. Which is so much smarter than, you know, just stabbing some guy with the pen. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness gracious. Ah. Oh no. Mm. 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 This is all bad. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry, but just play dead for right now, bro. And what is this 
shit. Look! It stopped. Give me the SWAT team and an ambulance double quick. We're going up. This is wild. Oh, I got the goosebumps again. Oh, fudge. Yeah, he's not going to be helpful right now. Mm. Wow, he got real creative. Sergeant Tate, he's alive. Lecter is missing and armed. Ember, can you hear me? You're doing a good job, Molly. You look real good there. Wow. Woo, this movie is taking me through some turns and twists, and I was not expecting any of this. I am so here for it. So here for it. Looking good, Pepper. You're gonna make it. Don't just fine. Do it all right. I'm on the elevator bringing Pembry down. He seems to be hanging on. We think he's on two. Hmm. Or he's in the roof. He never got off the elevator. Interesting. Mm. What is happening? Cause I like kind of want to get back to Buffalo Bill too. Like, <laughs> there was a lot happening there. I don't even know if Clarice got the name in the case files that he gave back. <laughs> He's about to shoot this motherfucker in the face. What? Ah! <gasps> oh. It's Hannibal Lecter. Like that, he has dead Penbury. <gasps> Yo, that's fucking wild! Yo, this is sick! In the bad way, like sick and like in a bad way. Yo, that's wild. Mmm. this Lecter's handwriting? Clarice, doesn't this random scattering of sight seem desperately random? Desperately random? What does he mean? Not random at all, maybe. Like there's some pattern here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but there is no pattern of the computers who have nailed it. Random because of the one girl. The one he weighted down. Oh, uh, Frederica Vimmel. Right. First girl taken, third body found. Why? Well, she didn't drift. He weighted her down. What did Lecter say about the first principles? What mm -hmm. does this guy do? He covets. Okay. How do we first start to covet? We covet what we see every day. Oh, <gasps> yes. So she's from where he lives. He knew her. Oh, fuck yes. Let's break this shit open. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm finally seeing this. I can't believe I've gone this long without. I got the goosebumps again. Oh my god. Whew. That's me. Well, I'm Clarice Starling. I'm with the FBI. Police been back here so many times already. Frederica went into Chicago on the bus to see about a job. Mm. She left the interview okay. She never come home. Oh shit, was that him? I didn't look like him. Very confused. He's making himself a woman's suit, Mr. Crawford, out of real women. And he, and he can sew this 
guy. He's, he's very skilled. Starling, Starling, we know who he is and where he is. We're on our way right now. Where? Calumet City, edge of Chicago. We'll be on the ground in 45 minutes with HRT. Subject's name is Jamie Gum, a.k.a. John Grant. Customs had some paper on it. They stopped a carton two years ago at LAX. Live caterpillars from Suriname. The hey! Was a All of it. Gum. Yeah. All of it adds up. That's crazy. Not enough time. We want him for murder, not kidnapping. I need you to link him to the girl before he's indicted. See what you can dredge up in Belvedere. Yes, sir. You bet. I'll do my best. Starling. We wouldn't have found him without you. Nobody's mm. gonna forget that. At least of all me. Thanks for the scraps, asshole. I got a better idea. That's definitely the same actress that plays Erica Hahn on Grey's Anatomy. Mm, what is happening? Oh god. He took one of those hairs. Oh my god, did he draw the pattern? Like, Ooh, I feel like I'm reading too much into this right now. mentioned a man named uh, Jamie Gum or a Jame Gum. How about John Grant? No. Sewing was her life. Did you two ever work together? Or? Oh, sure. Me and Pam Malavese used to help her do alterations for old Mrs. Littman. Can you give me Mrs. Littman's address? I need to talk to her. Oh, I don't do bugs. I don't do bugs. I don't do bugs. Oh shit, I knew that was coming. They were playing it off well. Well, I'm investigating the death of Frederica Bimmel. Clarice. Your name is? Oh, uh, Jack Gordon. Well, Frederica used to work for Mrs. Lippman. Did you know her? Oh, wait. Was she a great big fat person? Yeah, she was a big girl, sir. Mrs. Lippman had a son, though. Maybe he could help you. I got, I got his card in here someplace. So if you want to come in while well, I look for it. Oh, I've got goosebumps. Come on. Get her. Save her. Mm-hmm. She know. Gotta go. Make sure you look in your corner, girlfriend. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's making me sick to my stomach. Girlfriend, 
This is a very stressful situation. Holy fuck. What is happening? I'm getting so anxious right now. This is a very long, like, keeping my blood pressure up real high. Oh. Oh my god, he has a night vision goggles. Oh, the goggles on, he can't see. Mm -mm, this is dumb, 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 dumb. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I hate all this. You're being hunted. Shoot, just shoot. Oh my gosh, come on. Oh no. Mm. Oh shit. Girl, turn around and shoot, please. Oh. Oh man. I want to like know why I like kind of wish they were gonna question him because I kind of want to know like what was so bad that happened in his childhood that he was created to be like this. Like, are we gonna go over that? God, I hope so. Mm. Yeah, give her applause that she deserves. Oh, it's graduation. Just kidding. <laughs> I thought she was like doing a press conference. Uh, but yay, she graduated. Why do I feel like Hannibal Lec Lecter is about to be in this audience right now? <laughs> oh, he's calling to congratulate her. Look, I just wanted to say congratulations. I'm much good at this kind of thing, so I'm gonna duck out of here. Starling. Mm-hmm. Have the lamb stopped screaming? Laughter, Lecter. Don't bother with the trace. I won't be on long enough. Where are you, Dr. Lecter? I have no plans to call on you, Clarice. The world's more interesting with you in it. Mm-hmm. So you take care now to extend me the same courtesy. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Bye. Mm. Yo, why on? Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Well done, sir. Round of applause. Yes. Oh my gosh. Like hella casual. He's looking everywhere. He doesn't even know he's right behind him. Oh, living for this. Living for this. Karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch. I shouldn't be cheering that on, but kind of. Like, bad people shouldn't get murdered. No one should get murdered. But for the story in this fictional land, it's fantastic.